Welcome back to the channel, or indeed, welcome to the channel. You know, I'm really glad I built this portable fan. Temperatures like this. Now, let's go over to the outdoor table and I can tell you about some updates. And now that we're over here, the summary is that we started off with this Bedini circuit. I managed to remove lots of components and ended up with just three. So there we are, and you can also see there's a penny on there, and that's for uh, NPNs which are a bit short in current. So something like a 2N3904 can only deliver about 200 milliamps. It might be marginal, so super gluing a penny to it, that enables it to have a heatsink. So I kept developing a little bit, and I realised something, and that was that the fan's going to fall over. And realised I didn't actually need the resistor. And also, I could swap over the 1N4001 on the diagram to an LED. So we've just got two components. I'll set this up and show you it running. Okay, there we are with the charge doctor on there. Give it a spin. And you can see the LED flashes. That also shows you that the circuit is working. But the main clue is, your fan will be turning. So for current usage, it's showing the 5 volts, and it's lower on this one, it's 70 or 80 milliamps. Now the reason for that is because these coils are actually very finely wound with fine wire. If you use a thicker gauge and less turns, you'll end up with drawing more current, but you'll get a stronger output on the fan. I've taken the charge doctor off now to show another little, I call a feature of these, and that is that this power bank is currently off, there's no lights, but if I give a spin, off we go, and of course the light is on. And if you can see that actually, yes, you possibly see the blue light is on. But if I just stop it on the front, and we give that a few seconds, the light will go off, and that's showing that the circuit uses absolutely nothing when it's stopped. So there's no need for an on-off switch on the power bank itself. There we go, the light's gone off. So I'm highly delighted with this. It only uses two components and one of those is an indicator for whether the circuit is actually running. There we are, that's the update. And thanks very much for watching.